warriors like yourselves rode in and took the mules that carried the ammunition and guns and that's how we got weapons. Crook only stood on the ridge with his soldiers and watched the action that was going on. And uh, some of the units that came from some of our allies never got to go into battle because then by then they were all dead. Started with Ben Blackout. Uh, Blackout, when he went 
up on the hill for the last time. Houston, uh, out of British Columbia about four years ago and I was making a plan to go out there and help support her in the headwaters protecting the salmon she set up on their unceded territory up there and then right in the middle of my plans to go there standing rock. So all my energy and resources now are here in support of First Nation people's treaty rights. And I stand on the rock with, with all my people. And thank you. My name is Dee Jacobson. I am here from Washington, D.C. Social justice activist since I was 14. I've been working with human rights um, issues with the UN for the last 10 years. I've been working with uprisings with indigenous peoples starting about three years ago with Elsie Pogtog in the East New Brunswick of Canada. I'm here. Um, you have to shoot talk so you can just get up and just talk. It's just because. From what I was taught from, again, honoring our grandmother's teaching is that we always go in clockwise motion as well as acknowledging our Changleshka, where we're at in our life, and it's Lakota protocol. So we start from the eldest and then we acknowledge where we're at. So like it kind of gives us a reality check of like where, we're, where, we're to, where we stand in this life right now, and then it acknowledges our kinship with one another. So like these young ones below me, I automatically have a responsibility to protect them as well as the older ones in front of me, I see to my left that they're the ones I look to for guidance and direction. So that was just the purpose, and I just wanted to share that all with you guys. And then um, we'll allow the Uchis to say and to open it. Thank you. Um, good to see everybody. Um, my name is Madonna Thunderhawk. My sister Andrea Rabadu, and this is my sister Mabel Ann Eagle Hunter. Um, our reservation is south of here, the Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe, and uh, this camp is set up by the Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe. We have four bands of the Great Sioux Nation, four bands of Ocheta Shakoin are on one reservation, so that that's a good government in charge, nothing like that. It's it's not only our inherent rights as as uh, keepers of this land, but it's our responsibility to stand. And we came in support of this next generation. So we don't need to be up front, we don't need to be following around them the guys with the video, whatever. We came here in total support of what goes on because it's your generation, it's your time. And this was given to us when we were your age. 
When all three of us stood at Wounded Knee in 73, we had elders. We had elders behind us. And they didn't browbeat us beat us about what's sacred and what isn't, and you should be doing this and you shouldn't be doing that. Nothing like that. They helped us, they gave us direction, and then they stood behind us. So we always knew they had our back. And we're realists. So nobody tells me, where's your skirt? You know, when you have to run, when you have to protect your children, when you have to do what you have to do, it doesn't matter. Our ancestors survived because they were realists. They had common sense. And we didn't have religion. We had spirituality. Each individual is responsible for your connection to the Creator. No one else. You don't need a preacher. You don't need someone who's so sacred that you can't do this and you can't do that. You are your prayer. Mm. Yes. Yeah. And for anyone that's going to stay, this camp is a courtesy camp. This isn't a free-for-all. And I'm one of the coordinators, so only three of us. Two elders and, and, and uh, a community person. So if anybody has an agenda other than treaty land, then start your own camp somewhere where you can do your own thing. Again, this is out of courtesy we're doing this for others. But this ground is for the four bands on the Cheyenne River, Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe. Our tribal government is still in court. And we still believe in the rule of law, even though the rest of the government doesn't. They never did. So that's no big deal. <laughs> but I'll talk tomorrow more about other stuff. But I just want to kind of give you a clear idea of what's going to happen with this camp. This is not a free-for-all camp. The gate is not going to be wide open for anybody to do their own thing. Because I want to bring my great-grandchildren here in safety. So that, you know, that's why I decided, asked if I would be one of the coordinators, and I said, yeah, it's my turn. I've been standing in the background since August because that, by choice, Nobody told me I had to do anything. Ma'umau, Kilauea, Tutupele, Kanikapu, Kiala.
Malai, Kahua Umi, Kanikapu, Yellow. Tarani Ya Pauro hui pui i ke manawa pū. Ya Pauro hui pui ta wai ora a kāne ta moana nu i a kāno roa. E hōra nō ta lā ma waina o lono e kui hui pui e hīna haumea. Tu hui pui e me pēle hi aka mā me pole āku mā. Tu hui pui e me kia roha me ta mā no ma hai no tā hua Pauro. Ya Pauro hui pui e ta oa kāno roa e hui pui e ya Pauro te hāne. Ya Pauro e hui pui e i te wai ora i uka, Ya Pauro e hui pui e te wai au pū. Ya Pauro e hui pui e me kia roha me ka mana ma wai no tātua Pauro. Ya Pauro e hui pui e me kia roha me ka mana nga tūku no hana Pauro. Te hui pui e te rahi te te rātau, te kau i te hema, na piko lūna wai no lālo. Te hui pui e na kukula Pauro e, Mai to ho kui a hiti tahala vai, to ho ino to ho o kui pū. I a pauro e hui pui e me ka roha, me ka mana ma wai no tātua pauro. Tu hui pui e no ho i te au ta mauna na pūtu a pauro a te ho kui āwe. Tu hui pui e me te roha i ta mana i te kore, tu hui pui e to aku lo. Tu hui pui e no tātua pauro a te ho roha na kua ae no no. Tu hui pui e no tātua pauro a me nga ri i nga ta u. ตุ้ยพุยเนี่ยเดียวใครนะเดียวทำไมตุ้ยพุยเนี่ยมันอะไรกินเนี่ยตาตัวเปาโรตุ้ยพุยเนี่ยมีเคโลฮันอกเคไ
My phone is over to them, uh, over at on the Mauna right now. And just your phone, right? They see you guys though in Hawaii right now. They're seeing you guys here at that ceremony. protectors of the earth from here and beyond all the might awaken this good, this good light that we feel here sending light into all of these places that need healing sending light into ourselves and the places that need healing so that we can reflect the healing of this earth and come together in a good way Eala.
guys our love and support for Nana Abatia for standing up for the law for the enlightenment of the universe. For this prayer for honoring Mother Earth and honoring the water that is in our wombs and honoring the water that flows through her rivers and flows through all of Mother Earth. for help. Oh, you know, Nancy, my Puna Ova. My name is Nancy. I live in Puna. My Kuhali, my Nana Vali, Naloki, Mamakuli. Three green roses, Kea, standing rock, or flat. Mahalo, Nama, Namauna, Enema. No, I have great love for the land. For the land and the waters of Mauna Kea, Pohokaloa, Standing Rock, and the world over.
everyone for um, including all of us. I pray that uh, this will be a day that the Creator will heal. This will be a day for reconciliation for, for all of us. offer the honey from the bees, which is the sweetness of the earth, the water, the air, the puas, back to Mother Earth with so much gratitude for all the sweetness she gives us and all her beauty. And I would like to offer a song. grandmothers and the mothers and for Mother Earth who just continually accepts everything and this song is a willow song um, and the, the song is about how like the willow which grows by the river bank and when it, it spreads its branches out to catch the sun and it grows its roots deep deep down and holds on and when the floods come or the storms come the willow bends but doesn't break and we are like the willow and so this is in honor of the grandmothers and their their continual persistence in love and and for Mother Earth and for all of us who are standing to protect that which is sacred. Honey, honey, shanu.
Hey, 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 ho! this this chant this prayer that I heard in a ceremony and I saw old old time canoe a single single hull canoe traveling and this was the chant I heard real clear in a in a ceremony with Abba with the prayer of Makua. And I saw our hearts, our hearts have so much pain and so much history. And sometimes they're on the ground, but when we all come together and we grow that in, in unison and we, we go through those rough waters, when we all have hearts united and leave us, leave this, everything behind us, any pulikia, anything, just grow with our hearts together to, to create the peace we need in ourselves and on this earth. So this is the, the chant I heard. con oración para todos los niños, todos los hijos que han venido, que están por venir. I offer prayer to all of our children because they are the ones that we can trust. 
continue our tradition. <clears throat> Zokahi Aloha Aina Ea Ea Aloha no everybody. I was standing here and thinking that maybe I should not say nothing. But in my na'au, if I silent, if I say nothing. Nothing will be heard. And this must be heard by the world. This must be heard by all people. Everybody who knows this chant, Hey Mooya, I want to all you guys to join us. We'll do them three times. To cleanse, to put together in one. As one from here to Standing Rock to Old Flats to Poakolo. Every place that's suffering, every place that's going through pain. We want to silence all the hurt that's going around the world. We want to silence the pain that our First Nations people are going through. The suffering. Come on, go, go. Hey, mu oya. Hey, mu. Hey, mu na mo inu inu na mo mo ya na pu no no na hau mia. Hey, mu oya. Hey, mu. Hey, mu. Eli, Eli. Noah. Yeah, eh. Noah Honwa. He mu oya. He mu. He mu na mo inu inu na mo mo ya na pu no no na haumia. He mu oya. He mu. Eli Eli. Noah. Ya e. Noah Honwa. He mu oya. He mu. He mu na mo inu inu na mo mo ya na pu no no na haumia. He mu oya. Eli Eli Noah Ya Noah Onua Everybody who knows this bully We share this with Standing Rock Old Flat And everybody out there who needs to call unto their Amakua Call unto their higher selves Call unto the sacred ones, the creator To give us the strength, power, courage and love and the Lord, a couple of Lord that we all need. The only thing that could win this battle of hate, this battle of fear, put peace into our heart, put love into our soul. Let us spread this aloha throughout the world. Aloha aina wa iyo iyo, malamaka aina, malamaka po e Hawaii name. Nao makua, makau kau. Nao makua mai kalahiki, akalaka. Mai ka oku i a ka harawai Na au ma kua i a ka hina kua i a ka hina hau I a ka a kau i ka lani O ki ha i ka lani O we i ka lani Nu nu lu i ka lani Ka holo i ka lani E i a na pula pula o kou i malama o kou i a ma kou E ulu i ka lani E ulu i ka honua E ulu i ka pai a i na wafari E ho mai i ka hiki E ho mai i ka 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 E ho mai i ka a ka i mai I'm gonna 
prayers know one another. Our prayers for the waters, for the mountains, for the lands that need healing now. We lift this up in a good way from Hawaii Nui Akea, Hawaii Mokupuni, all the way around the world. Kuha Aheo, stand proud and stand strong. Keep your courage, keep your strength, and know that we got your back always. Kuha Aheo. elsewhere to say it in the and safely and with blessings from gathering here today. And then we'll 
lot of cool once again. This time, in addition to Aloha, and where we blow the pool, we're also sending our deepest of mahalo and gratitude. E te atu na hano maku ya fauro hui hui ke au i ke aloha mi kamana mo vai no ta fauro ya fauro hui hui ka maluhi no kahi me ka aloha ke aku ya fauro.
standing rock, oak flat, and yeah, we got it back. Hey everybody, um, I'm just uh, sending out a little uh, explanation about some of the events that have been happening today and um, uh, what we saw right there was just a gathering, a ceremony of, um, of, uh, of the Unchis or the, 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 the elders uh, for this weekend, this gathering of women for Standing Rock and uh, essentially what happened was uh, the Army Corps of Engineers uh, had come yesterday as many of you had seen and a lot of the people, the leadership, um, or the, the people in the, the community that were supposed to be at this particular event, um, uh, they were they were actually they're actually now um, trying to like hold up to the Army Corps of Engineers and trying to like negotiate things with them in the sense of um, trying to let them know that you know they can't just be in camp and and uh, impose themselves into this space without. Um, having people watching out for them and watching out what's going on. Uh, so a lot of the people that were actually supposed to be here at this gathering are now at camp right now and it's been incredibly disruptive for the community to have uh, to deal with that in the midst of moving uh, and it's I'm causing a lot of fear and a lot of uh, worry about what's happening um, with their people, their belongings, their family. Um, uh, even though there have been some promises that have been made that nothing, nothing was going to happen today, I think that everybody here uh, doesn't really trust the government right now, doesn't trust that people are going to keep their word. And uh, so they had to make sure that people were safe over there. So uh, there's a relatively small gathering over here because uh, it was made the decision to move forward with um, uh, making sure that camp opened in a good way. So we were happy to, really, really grateful to the folks up in uh, Puhulu Hulu and Mauna Kea, Ohana. Mahalo nui to all of you guys. Love you guys for um, for helping start off the Cheyenne River Camp over here in a good way. And sharing the ceremony over there and sharing your prayers and sharing your love. Uh, it was really, it was starting to get really, really cold too. Everybody had, it had been really warm yesterday and everybody was um, kind of dressed for uh, a little bit warmer weather, like about 40 degree weather, and it just the temperature just dropped in the middle of that. So we had to end that relatively quickly. So much love to everybody, and you guys take care. We'll try to keep you updated a little bit more. Um, again, further down the road, and have some more interviews. Aloha, Aina. Malong Fano. I just would like to thank you for the beautiful ceremony that we just watched, and. I can't tell you how thankful we are. Back in the fall when some of, some of you came and did the water ceremonies, and um, it really touched all of us here living at the camp. It touched our hearts and our minds and our souls because we're all we're connected in that way. And I, I'm i just thankful, and I, I know I speak for everybody at the camp, that um, we appreciate everything that you do over there, because in my heart, how I believe with the wind, you know, all the natural elements, because that's how we were raised. Our, we don't really have a religion. Our, that's our way of life. Every day we get up and we live that way. We honor the earth, the water is sacred to us. And that's why we're here on this, um, at the camp fighting for clean water and fight, fighting for the earth because Mother Earth has a spirit too and we're all, they call us water protectors, but we're trying to protect our Mother mother Earth. Um, and I just want to thank you for all of your support and for everything that you do for us and all the prayers that we receive. And I know it, these next few days it's kind of hard because they are going to come in and forcibly remove us. Um, it's going to be a hard day. Even now I try to pray as much as I can for uh, understanding and I know this isn't the end for us. Location has nothing to do how we pray and how much respect we have. We just want clean water for everybody, not just ourselves but everybody here on this earth 
and um, it's gonna be we're gonna be okay because we're gonna keep moving on and we're gonna keep fighting all these big oil companies because I want my granddaughter here to have clean water and I want her children and grandchildren to have clean water and a clean earth and I know that we have to fight for the rest of our lives for this because it's it's just the only way that it's going to happen and I just really appreciate everything that you have done today in that ceremony and um, we just ask for support, just keep supporting us help us to get through this. And if there's anybody out there, people who want to come and support us on that day, or it's getting close, we welcome anybody to come and help us. What is the day again, Auntie? Um, February 22nd. Mm -hmm. We have to be out of there. So I'm not, I'm not sure if they're coming in that day or, or the 23rd for sure. It's one of those two, but they gave us till the 22nd. February to be out of there and there are many people who are not going to be leaving there and so just pray for all of us who will be staying there because from looking at the past things that they have done to us I know there will be physical physical violence against those that remain and arrests made and um, pray for the safety of all of us and um, I know you keep us in your prayers all the time. And you have a very beautiful country, and the most sacred mountains, and we think of you guys all the time, and we keep you in our prayers. And I just want to thank you from my heart for doing everything that we do, because it means a lot to all of us here. And um, I suppose we just continue on and see what comes in the next few days. But we love all of you, and we thank you all for supporting us and being here for us. Wolfie La Tonka, that means a big thank you to all of you. We love you. And stay strong, because we're trying to. Mahalo Nui. Would you mind sharing where you're from, Regina? Oh, I'm from um, the Pine Ridge Reservation oh. in South Dakota. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. Mahalo Nui. Yeah. Laina. So, um, thank you.